Good morning, super cool people. Super cool people. Also super cool party people. I'll take them both this morning. <laughs> Whoops. Um, that moment when you could restart the vlog, but you just don't care. <laughs> it is just about seven. I've been up since my, well, my first alarm went off at six. I did not get up right away. And I was like, I'll get up at 6.30. And I was like, no, I'll get up closer to seven. But I think I ended up getting up at like 6.20. So good job me. I've got my breakfast drink going here. I've already made my bed while I was importing all my footage. So much footage. There was over an hour worth of footage. I just rough cut it. So anything that I knew I wanted to speed up for montages and stuff, I just took care of that and I'm rendering it now so that I can watch it more easily. I forgot that yesterday morning I um, melted a hash brown bag, so check it out <laughs> if you want to see that happening. Yeah, because I caught it on footage from film. On footage from film. Is it really film? It's more like I caught it on SD card. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to be waiting for this to render for a bit, so I think I'm going to chill here. I did write a list last night of things that I do want to do. Um, it doesn't seem too bad. My mom suggested going to Costco last night, so I think we're going to do that. And um, yeah, it should be good. But this is going to take, looks like, at least 15 minutes to do. Hopefully, I'll still have enough time to edit it before... 8 o'clock so I can go up and 8 but it's probably going to take a while to render so maybe we didn't make it again today but every day we're getting a little closer I should just change my upload time to 9 if we're being honest then again like on days when I have to work that wouldn't help me anyways because I leave at quarter to 8 so I should just get up earlier anyway just wanted to start the vlog we're awake we're, we're alright about it I wouldn't say I'm happy about it but I'm awake I also oh Jeez, that's spilling places. Okay, cool. I also woke up and my nose ring was missing. So fortunately I knew where my extra ones were. So like that was fine. And I searched and initially I couldn't find my extra nose ring. And then I found it as soon as I'd put in a new one. So whatever, we got a new one. It's a slightly larger one, I think. Sparkle, sparkle. Anyway, I'm going to go because I can clean up this mess and I'll check it with you. Get a bit. All right, so it is currently 7.59. I still have about four to five minutes worth of footage to edit. And then I still have to do my thumbnail and I have to export this. It's not going up at seven. It'll be kind of close. If I had gotten up at six, I'd probably be good. But that's okay. I also was working on this dude while I was um, waiting for everything to render and it's coming along. I don't think it's something I could sell or anything because he ain't that pretty, but I'm slowly getting a hang of these French knots and I think that's a win. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. I just want to do a quick update. Oh, bam, it's eight o'clock, vlog ain't up. It's cool, it's Sunday. <laughs> and um, I'll check in with you when I am the next step I guess. Alrighty so it is 10 to 9. I can hear my mom up and moving so I should probably get dressed soon because Costco. Uh, and we are uploading. We're like an hour late. It's fine. It says it's gonna be like half an hour so uh, whatever it's cool. And I'm just continuing to work on this little guy. I think I should have done the satin stitch first before the trees but you know learning process. Wow brain still a little slow this morning. I think I need to eat some real food here soon, but I'm doing all right. Alrighty, it is currently about 20 to 10. I am already, I'm dressed. I'm wearing the same thing I wore yesterday because I was really feeling it and also I really need to do laundry and I didn't really do anything, so it's fine. Um, but I've been working on this dude some more. So I start doing the sand stitch to fill in the fields and I've noticed that because this is fleece, it's kind of leaving some holes up there, which is fine because this is a practice piece anyway. So I think I want to pick up some felt because felt is a little bit stiffer. Initially, I went looking for felt, but there wasn't any at the store that I went to. So I was like, oh, fleece will be fine, but not so much. But I really like this. I think it's super cute. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm just packing up my bag, getting ready to go. Got to remember my G7X, etc., etc., etc. Alright, so I have been a terrible vlogger because we it's been so busy. We went to Winners and then Mark's 
and then Best Buy and then Costco and Costco took forever. We just finished eating. We had triple O's, which is delicious. And now in a couple minutes, we're gonna be headed back home. We have so much stuff. This is like only some of it. There's a ton in the back. So you can see some paper products. It's insane. Okay, so I'm back home now and the situation is I bought way more than I was anticipating. I knew we were gonna go to Costco. It didn't do so bad there, but I was like, oh, winners, like I could use a pair of sweatpants because I realized this morning when I put these sweatpants on that they were kind of getting a hole in the thunder thigh region. Uh, so many pants RIP to that cause. <laughs> anyway, so I was like, oh, I should get a pair of sweatpants. But then like, it just, it just, <laughs> it just, it, it just kept getting worse. But we're here, so let's do a haul. So I found these sweatpants, which are basically the exact same ones I'm wearing. They're Reebok. I love Reebok workout pants they're great and they were normally $30 I got them for $24 just a nice gray and gray is one of the color tones that I'm trying to stick with this year so that's good for me and then I also found this pair of black ones they're the exact same sweatpants except they say Reebok down the side they were 30 bucks but that's fine because I live in sweatpants if you didn't know and um I'm very happy about those purchases. I was like, maybe she only get one, maybe she get the other. I don't know. Anyways, got them both. <laughs> then I saw this super cute cardigan. And again, it's in my color scheme. It's just like a nice long gray cardigan. It is so soft. Let me tell you. I just, I love it. So I got this and I will wear it always. <laughs> and then... <laughs> It was bad. In all fairness, I hardly have any shirts I've noticed lately because I got rid of a lot of my clothes and I purged through a lot that I didn't like or I didn't wear, which meant I didn't really have a ton. And the ones that I have, a lot of them don't match the color scheme I'm going into and also I just wear like the same four because it's really all I like. But I saw this really cute. Why must I use the word cute? It's like a hoodie, but it's like a sweater and it's got a hood and it's got fun stars on it and this was really a vibe I was going for. It's white and gray and which matches my color scheme and it's stars which is something like I'm wearing stars currently. It's white and blue but it's still stars so the cardigan was 40 bucks and I think the uh, white one was 35 and then I picked up just some hyaluronic acid because I'm slowly using mine up and I don't want to run out and this is only eight bucks the one that I have there I paid 31 for so hopefully this one is just as good. We'll find out. And then I got this. It's an organizer for either my makeup brushes or I just bought a lot of scissors yesterday. <laughs> so, you know, I will have a use for this. It's super cute. It's marble. It matches the top of my toy box. I put marble contact paper on, so that's what I was thinking for like makeup brushes or something, but we'll see. And then the last thing I got from Winners was this big board that says Dream Big. And I thought it'd be good for my vision board. I, I know I mentioned that I was working on my vision board. I bought some cork for it, but I just really don't like how the cork is working. And they're just, they're four small cork pieces. So I'm thinking that maybe bigger pieces better and I can decorate it a little more. I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. So I have like a one quarter complete vision board that I hate, which is not gonna help me achieve my goals. So I just think this is so much cuter. It was on clearance because it has a couple stains, but they're not super noticeable. And I think I'll be able to cover them up. I'm not, I'm not too fussed. After that, we went to Marks and they had a lot of stuff on clearance and I just found this cute scoop neck long sleeve situation, normally 40 on sale for 20. And it's just super cozy and super comfy. And again, color scheme. See, this, this is my thing this year is I'm trying to rotate out all the colors that I don't want to wear because I'm hoping to just have like four main colors so all my clothes go together. That's the plan. And then after that, I want to go to Fabricland because if you remember this morning, I was showing you that I was working on this really fun thing. But as I start to do the satin stitch, I, just because it's a flannel and not a fleece or not a, a felt, I'm afraid that the fabric might rip. I don't know. I might just keep going on this because it's good practice, but I figured it'd be better to get some actual 
felt, which is what I wanted to get yesterday. Anyways, I just love these little trees. They're so cute. So I picked up a ridiculous amount. I got a meter of this dark navy here so I can do dark navy. It's just navy. I got a meter of this navy and a meter of this, like, I think it's called Kelly Green. So I can do land and I can do ocean. So I'm very excited about those. And then I picked up a white pencil, chalk pencil for dark colors because we're not going through the situation that I went through yesterday where I was getting really frustrated. And then in the remnants bin, I just found some just basic white because I've been using, I have a cream color. I've been using a lot of it lately. I have a white, but it's not quite the same fabric. So I think this will work well. And it was only like $1.80 for this, so I can't complain. Anyways, that is my haul. I also got a case of pop from Costco and some lasagna, but whatever. So. I am home now. It is just about three o'clock. I need to take a look at my list and kind of see where we want to go from there because I got a couple clothes. I might go through my closet and try to get rid of a couple things that I just don't wear. Like I'm sure I can replace some of my cardigans now that I have this much, much nicer one. And the weather is kind of okay. So I might text my friend, see if he wants to go for a hike, walk, walk, hike, white, walk, wike, a wike, <laughs> a whack awake <laughs> oh, <laughs> I've been up for too long I might text him see if he wants to go for a hike or a walk or something because like it's so much easier when there's more than one person but we'll see because it is kind of raining I've just resigned myself to the fact that it is the 19th and I might not get out for another walk this month <sighs> but it's okay we'll learn I think honestly I was saying this this morning I think my January should never really be a month where I set like a firm goal. It should just be a month where I get ready for the rest of the year. <laughs> or maybe if I was more organized, that could be February. I mean, February, <laughs> December. But we'll see. Anyways, that's what I was thinking this morning. Like, because I just feel like I'm setting routines in place and stuff this month, which are great. And so I really don't need that added weight of feeling guilty for never getting out and going for a walk. Also the weather, the weather is a huge factor. Anyways, I'm gonna go cause I need to blow my nose now cause my nose has just started running and I will check in with you in a bit. I just decided to set up my agenda. Ah, but look how cute it is with these llamas and then flowers. Ah, oh, I love it. This is like the cutest page that I've made for a while. I'm very happy with it. I'm currently just finishing this season of Survivor while I'm doing some housekeeping stuff, like cleaning, setting up my agenda, etc. I did a little bit more on this dude. I pretty much finished the end of this field. Wow, focus. I pretty much finished the end of this field. I don't know if I'm going to keep going with it though, just because it's a lot of thread and um, I don't really know how well this is going to stay intact, so we'll see. I might switch focus, but right now I am working on setting up my agenda. I got rid of a cardigan. It's probably should have got rid of more. I've got this one back here. One of my favorite things, and I haven't been doing it a lot lately, but it was writing and wearing a cardigan because it's so easy to take on and off and on and off. And so my writer cardigan, we'll see if that goes well. But yeah, I'm just going to finish this guy up and then see what's next on my list, I suppose. Alrighty, so it is after dinner now. It is actually currently 7.30. We had lasagna, because we picked some up at Costco. And I'm just tidying up my embroidery for the night because I've run out of the dark green that I'm doing the trees in, these guys. And um, I can't keep going. It's almost done. I figure I want to come around here and then do some trees, maybe down here and then along the lines. And then I want to put in a different color of tree in with the dark green but I just want to get all the dark green done first and then just get the other one in there so can't work on that anymore can't work on it really until I get to the store I checked Fabricland today when I got the fabric but they did not have that dark green they had only lighter green so hopefully the Fabricland in my town will have it I mean if nothing else they have that whole big kit so I could just buy another whole big kit I'd really like to not if I could avoid it but it is an option so that means I can cross that off my list because I can't I can't really do much more of it. So finish field, done. So we're actually making pretty good moves. I think I might watch the rest of this episode of Survivor and then go do my reading. I need to tidy up my bed a little bit. 
But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about today and also not passing out immediately yet. So that's also a win. So I'm getting near the end of my book, which is super exciting. Also, I'm wearing my new cardigan and it is just, it's like a cloud a cozy warm cloud but before I started reading my mom texted me and she from downstairs and she's like I'm going to the store do you need anything and like the gas station and I was like um just a winning lotto ticket please <laughs> scratch ticket specifically scratch ticket <laughs> when she came home she had two for me and one did not win but I won eight dollars on this one so I guess that worked <laughs> but yeah I am exhausted it is nine o'clock i am dying a lot right now like i'm already in my pjs because we're just getting into the zone so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna spend like the next half hour or so looking at my book i know i know that's a new thing <laughs> but i think that is the correct way to go i don't know how well it's gonna go because my brain is a little because I'm getting kind of tired but if nothing else maybe i can like get some ideas percolating in my head or something we'll see anyways I'll check with you just before bed but that's how the rest of my night is going before I climb into bed by 10 I want to be like asleep just after 10 tonight I think because we're gonna try for the 6 a.m. again tomorrow <laughs> alrighty so as promised my voice has disappeared that was not promised as promised I'm checking in at the end of the night it is 20 to 10 now I just did my night care skin routine and um just watching a youtube video as i wind down but i did spend a little bit of time on my book and it's clear so chapter 16 is the one i'm working on and so i was reading through it I got to the end and i was like i'm sure i have more of this and i was like did i just write it in my head and not write it in real life because sometimes i do do that and then i remembered aha uh -huh. There's a document on my desktop called Chapter 16. And so I made a couple of changes in the first one in the main document. And then I started kind of reading over the Chapter 16 that I had separately. And it is so much better. So I'm like, why did I make all those changes? But tomorrow what I'll do is I will combine them together. So if there's anything I missed in one or the other that I want to put in the final project complete it version yeah that sounds right uh it'll all be there so i'm very excited about that it sounds good i'm excited about this book again like i sat down there was no dread it was just enjoyment so i think what i've been doing over the last couple weeks the relaxing the playing video games the getting a different creative outlet going i think all those things have been helping and i'm so excited about that and maybe the getting up early as well I don't know but we are starting to make progress and that is very exciting so hopefully tomorrow I can finish chapter 16 and go on to whatever the next roadblock is that I have it'll be fine but I'm sleepy now so I'm gonna finish this YouTube video and crawl into bed so with that I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things good night